From private jets to tropical islands, Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast, has given away millions of dollars worth of truly insane prizes across his tenure as the undisputed king of YouTube. But while we know what those prize winners received, the real question is, what happened next? From controversies to scams, deception to destruction, and everything in between, stick around to find out what happened to Mr. Beast's luckiest challenge winners. Squid Game Champ Cam Cuse took part in Mr. Beast's recreation of the international Netflix sensation Squid Game in 2021. Just like the show, Jimmy put 456 contestants through their paces in a series of challenges. Each eliminated contestant along the way received a consolation prize of upwards of $2,000 with the lucky final winner set to take home $456,000. It all started on October 11th when Mr. Beast posted this TikTok claiming if it got 10 million likes, he'd put on his very own Squid Game contest with real people. After finding out about the post two days later, Cam Cuse didn't see how he had a chance of getting in on the games, but left a comment on the TikTok all the same. Needless to say, he was pretty shocked when he received a message saying he'd been selected to take part, and all because he simply followed Mr. Beast on TikTok. If you've seen the video, you'll know that Cam beat the odds to win the $456,000 prize. But the win wasn't without its controversies. For starters, some viewers weren't too happy with the strategy Cam used in the final game of Musical Chairs. Eagle-eyed viewers noticed that Cam, as well as some of the other final contestants, were speeding up to get to empty chairs and then slowing down a little before moving on to the next. So much so that Jimmy had to keep reminding everyone to keep it moving to prevent cheating. But whatever your opinion on Cam's methods, the drama didn't end with the games. After winning, Cam briefly became quite notorious on social media after he tweeted offering $10,000 to a person who doubted he had actually won to prove he was indeed now rich in an exceedingly flashy manner. But despite the account that posted that tweet receiving a follow from Mr. Beast himself, it turned out the account was not Cam at all, but an imposter impersonating him. So the question remains, what did the real Cam do with the money? Following in the footsteps of the man who gave him his winnings, Cam said he wanted to use the money to help people, mainly his family and friends, and seems to have stuck to his word. But with $456,000 to play with, I'd say Cam deserves to flash at least some less sensible uses of cash too. And with several flights and some pool time being featured on his TikTok, it seems like he's enjoying his winnings just like he should. Betraying the Beast It's safe to say that no one gets more opportunity to win big with Mr. Beast than his employees. But for some of them, those wins ended in a big loss. Appearing for the first time on Jimmy's channel all the way back in 2016, Tyler was one of the longest serving members of the Mr. Beast team. His first win came in 2018 when he became the victor of a video titled, Last to Leave the Circle Wins $10,000. And then in June 2020, when his team won a further $50,000 or $17,000 per person for building the largest Lego tower. But despite his winnings, Tyler mysteriously disappeared from the forefront of Jimmy's videos with his last front and center appearance being back in 2020. Some eagle-eyed fans think there's more than a friendly parting of ways to this disappearance. Tyler's last appearance was in I Opened a Restaurant That Pays You to Eat At It, in which it looked like the big beast in charge told Tyler to leave the set after he suggested they start charging customers. And it's not the first time Tyler had seemingly upset Jimmy. In I Ubered People and Let Them Keep the Car, Tyler broke a windshield and dinged up a car, which seemed to really grind Jimmy's gears. While rumors that Tyler was fired ran rampant online, in reality, these two incidents were nothing more than some good-humored shtick to make the videos more entertaining. Far from being fired, Tyler moved on to work behind the scenes for Jimmy. While Tyler's socials are pretty barren these days, his Instagram credits him as a director for Mr. Beast. While there's not much to go on, Tyler did make a brief cameo appearance on Jimmy's $1 vs. $1 billion yacht video in June 2023, so it's safe to assume he's still very much friends with Jimmy and the gang, which is almost definitely a large monetary win in anyone's book. 
Jet Plane Denial Harry Lewis, aka W2S, found internet fame alongside the likes of KSI as a member of the British group of YouTubers known as the Sidemen. But arguably, his most significant achievement to date came in 2022, when he was invited to take part in Mr. Beast's biggest giveaway challenge yet. The rules were simple. Whoever kept their hand on a $2.5 million private jet the longest would keep it. After beating out his fellow YouTuber competitors and holding onto the jet for 18 hours, Harry won the jet. Or did he? When Jimmy asked Harry what he was going to do with his new jet, he said he'd give it to his siblings. But according to YouTuber and trained pilot AV Post, the jet featured in the challenge has been officially owned by Veluxus Limited, a private jet charter company, since 2020. And ownership hasn't been documented as having changed hands. But if Harry never won the jet, could that mean that Mr. Beast was faking the challenge? The quick answer here is probably not. Seeing as the ongoing cost of owning a private jet, including maintenance, storage, and fuel can run up to $1 million annually, it's unlikely Harry would have wanted to hang on to his prize. Instead, the theory that the Veluxus jet was brought in as an elaborate prop for the challenge quickly gained traction with the suggestion that presumably whoever won would get the option to buy their own jet or just take the cash. Sure enough, Harry confirmed on a podcast later in 2022 that he had indeed opted to take the cash instead, though the amount wasn't specified. But with the kinds of budgets Mr. Beast plays around with, it seems like kind of a no-brainer if you ask me. Scamming the Beast Another contestant from the aforementioned hands-on jet was British YouTuber Will and E, who proved that you don't even have to officially win a Mr. Beast challenge to walk away victorious. While competing in the challenge alongside Harry Lewis, Will dipped out after being offered $20,000 to leave the challenge early. But even after milking the Mr. Beast cash cow once, it wasn't enough for Will. Unlike the many creators out there shamelessly stealing Mr. Beast's video ideas and thumbnails, Will opted to steal Jimmy's merch revenue instead. In November 2022, Will and he took to YouTube to announce that he'd paid off his mortgage by selling hundreds of thousands of dollars of fake Mr. Beast merchandise. While Mr. Beast's real merch features his famous Blue Roaring Tiger, Will's knockoff version features a less menacing, more meerkat-looking creature, and it's all sold and hosted on a website domain one letter different from Mr. Beast's own. But the craziest part? Will wore his fake merch right in front of Jimmy during the private jet challenge. Will even posted the astronomical figures from his fake merch sales, but strangely, there was radio silence from Jimmy and his lawyers. But all was explained in February 2023 when Will revealed that the whole thing had been nothing more than a stunt that Jimmy himself was in on. He also revealed that the graphs in the video were supposed to be so over the top no one believed them, and the included website links led to a page that was pretty obviously a joke. So it seems most folks forgot the one thing you should always remember. Never believe anything you see on the internet. Unless it's from Be Amazed, of course. Mrs. Beast Winning a Mr. Beast challenge often takes determination and luck, but our next contestant, Tia Boyson, didn't just win the prize, but also the heart of the big man himself. Tia competed in one of Jimmy's challenges, which pit two teams of 100 boys and 100 girls against each other to win a share of a $500,000 prize. The challenge was simple. Whichever team could keep the most members inside a shrinking circle at the end of 100 hours would win for their entire team which meant regardless of whether an individual contestant was still in the circle at the end, their team's victory would still result in $5,000 per member of the team. With a final tally of 35 girls to 33 boys, the girls walked away victorious. But some commenters began suspecting that Jimmy might have been showing favoritism towards the girls' team. From buying out the only boy who knew how to solve a Rubik's Cube with 10 grand during a Rubik's-based mini challenge, to tempting numerous boys out of the circle using empty briefcases as bait while only pulling the same trick on the girls once. But why would he do that? Well, what if I told you that Mr. Beast's girlfriend was competing as part of the girls' team? While the Boys vs. Girls challenge was uploaded to the Mr. Beast channel in July 2022, Jimmy and Tia had reportedly been secretly dating since February, but didn't reveal their relationship until September. And while the fact that she ended up winning a challenge may seem a little sketchy at first, there's a lot more to the story. 
Tia wasn't actually supposed to be in the video at all, but after a lot of female contestants tested positive for COVID, Jimmy asked her to participate to fill up the leftover spots. To avoid any potential allegations of tipping the challenge in Tia's favor, she tried to stay out of the spotlight and only appears in a few brief shots. Not only that, but she dropped out after 24 hours to avoid anything looking staged once her relationship with Jimmy was eventually made public. Tia also revealed that she did still get her share of the 500K, a tiny $5,000, and that all the other girls who left the challenge early got the same regardless of when they left. As of the time of this writing, Tia and Jimmy are seemingly still going strong, and she's been working on her career as an author and streamer. I can only begin to imagine what kind of crazy video stunt Mr. Beast will perform for her if he ever proposes. Island Declined it's no secret that Mr. Beast has given away some truly epic prizes in his time, but not many are as outlandish as winning an entire island. But that's exactly what our next winner, Mallory Devine, got when she took part in one of Jimmy's wildest challenges. Mallory was selected as one of 100 randomly chosen subscribers to compete for the chance to win a private island in celebration of the Mr. Beast channel reaching 100 million subscribers. For one of the first games in the challenge, Jimmy brought back Red Light Green Light from his Squid Game video, this time on a boat. While Mallory is very much in the background of this Red Green Challenge, subscriber number 21,600,000 became the first winner of the day when he managed to beat Jimmy at his own game. After stopping the players by saying Red Light around halfway through the game, Jimmy turned to the camera and said this. The beauty of this Red Light Green Light is there's no time limit. I can just put the mic down and wait 10 minutes. Did you catch that? Because Jimmy said green light, this crafty contestant took his chance to make it to the finish line. While the unnamed contestant made it through red light, green light on a clever technicality, sadly there was no way he could outwit the 50-50 game of chance that saw him knocked out of the island race in the very next game. Back to Mallory. She was able to make it all the way to the end and bag the island for herself after finding Mr. Beast's carefully hidden YouTube play button award. But what exactly happened next? Well, shockingly enough, soon after the challenge, Mr. Beast revealed that Mallory actually ended up returning her island prize. But why? Well, for the very same reason one of Mr. Beast's very own employees, the lovable Chandler Hallow, sold his $800,000 island after winning it in a Mr. Beast vid back in August 2020. He sold up just a month later because he couldn't afford the maintenance costs, including what would have been hundreds of thousands of tax dollars. Similarly, Jimmy revealed that Mallory actually sold the island back to him in exchange for around $1 million. While the idea of having your own private slice of paradise may sound like a dream come true, I think most people would agree that having a million dollars to spend on whatever you want is even better. But what would you rather win? Hit like for the island and subscribe for the million dollars. And now onto our next winner. International Smash. Our next victor is Ala Alalaji, winner of the 2023 challenge Every Country on Earth Fights for $250,000, and which, you might have guessed, competitors from every country on Earth battled it out through a series of challenges. Allah, who currently lives in New York, represented Libya in the games and won a custom-made $250,000 medal made of pure 24 karat gold. But instead of locking his prize away in a max security vault somewhere or behind a maze of security lasers, Allah did something wild. In a move never seen before from a Mr. Beast winner, Allah fully destroyed his prize, smashing it to pieces with an axe. While it seems crazy to destroy something so valuable, in this case, it's the smartest thing Allah could have done. You see, while the metal itself was cool and all, the cool quarter of a million price tag was the real prize. Allah had the gold melted down and converted into a bar so he could sell it and take the cash instead. Despite trading in his physical prize, Allah didn't leave the experience empty-handed and walked away with his shirt signed by all the Mr. Beast crew in addition to the $250,000. Now that's what I call a priceless win. Circular Insanity it's no secret Mr. Beast Challenge winners are often required to put in some serious time to win their prize. 18 hours, even 100 hours as we've seen. 
But whatever became of the guy who spent 100 days in a circle to win half a million dollars? In September 2022, Sean Hendricks took on the insane challenge of staying inside a house in a circle for 100 whole days. Despite missing his family, watching his circle house get cut in half, as well as Jimmy dangling $250,000 to quit on day 92, Sean stood firm and took home the grand prize. Needless to say, Sean considered his circle time well worth it. After surviving what many consider one of Mr. Beast's hardest challenge, Sean spent some of the money how you'd expect. He went on vacation and bought a new house for him and his family. But that's where the expected becomes the unexpected. Sean made the move to Greenville, North Carolina, which just so happens to be where Mr. Beast is based. Turns out that after appearing in his circle challenge, Sean was hired as Mr. Beast's new director of development. While some more skeptical viewers started to wonder if Sean had been friends with Jimmy all along and that's how he ended up in a challenge, these rumors were swiftly put to bed by the Mr. Beast team who stated on Reddit their professional relationship only began after meeting him for the video. But even after winning the money and the career of his dreams, the best prize came just after he returned home from the circle. While he'd been gone, Sean's wife bought herself a new dog to keep her company and named it after none other than the Beast Man himself, Jimmy. Overzealous We've already seen that Mr. Beast holds challenges for regular people as well as some more famous faces, but our next winner got the best of both worlds when he walked away from one of Jimmy's challenges with a one-way ticket to YouTube fame and success. When he first appeared on Mr. Beast's channel in September 2020, Zealous, aka Matthew Doyen, was a small YouTuber who was yet to reach 100k subs. The challenge in question saw Zealous face off against three other small content creators to see who could keep their hand on Mr. Beast's diamond play button the longest. The prize? A special shout out from Jimmy himself who promised to tell his multi-million viewers to subscribe to the winner's channel until they reached 1 million subscribers and beyond. The channel names of the losing participants, meanwhile, were consistently censored throughout the video, so only the winner received the true exposure. After holding firm for a massive 33 hours, Zealous was the last man standing, and just seven hours after Mr. Beast uploaded the challenge video, Zealous' subscriber count went from around 50,000 to over a million. And it didn't stop there. At the time of this upload, Zealous has amassed over 4 million subscribers and according to ad revenue estimates, could be raking in almost $165,000 per year from his channel. Which, if you ask me, is way better than the vast majority of one-time cash prizes. That is, until the day comes where Mr. Beast finally pays out for... $100 billion! The Real Winners while there's no doubt it's good fun to watch Mr. Beast put unwinning contestants through their paces to win life-changing prizes, Jimmy's charitable ventures make sure those who are the most in need can win too. With 100% of its ad revenue profits going into supporting good causes the world over, the Beast Philanthropy Channel was born out of Jimmy's desire to help those in need. In May 2023, Beast Philanthropy funded the supply of 2,000 prosthetic devices worth $235,000 for those living in war-stricken countries. One of the people helped was San Piao, an accounting student living in Cambodia. Not only did San Piao get her independence back when she received one of the prosthetic devices, but Jimmy also paid for all of her schooling as well as an all-expenses-paid trip to any country of her choosing. With other generous and entertaining videos from Jimmy involving helping orphanages, building houses for the homeless, helping survivors of natural disasters, and much more, it's fair to say this beast is bringing a hell of a lot of beauty to the world. Jimmy Wonka's Golden Ticket while there's no sweeter victory than that of winning a Mr. Beast challenge, our next winner was gifted with quite literally the sweetest prize of all. In celebration of the release of his candy brand, Feastables, Jimmy made himself a real-life Willy Wonka in January 2022. He announced that 10 random Feastable chocolate bars would contain lucky golden tickets, entering buyers into a challenge to win their very own chocolate factory. 
Dallin Lambert is one half of the YouTube channel Della Vlogs alongside with his wife Bella, and when they heard about the challenge, they purchased $1,000 worth of Feastable Bars. This secured them around 330 entries into the draw of over 2.9 million entries total. But despite the odds, Dallin ended up with a winning ticket. While some question the credibility of an already fairly well-known YouTuber like Dallin receiving a ticket purely by chance, it's pretty clear in the Mr. Beast video that that he won fair and square when it came to the challenges themselves. For his prize, Jimmy offered Dallin ownership of the factory or the option to sell it back to him for $500,000 cash. Now, if Dallin kept the factory, he'd be looking at tax and maintenance bills of over hundred grand per year to maintain it, so Dallin easily chose the cash. But was the option to keep the chocolate factory even legit in the first place? If you look closely at the factory, it's pretty apparent that it's not actually producing chocolate and it's actually inside what looks to be an open plan storage warehouse rather than a functioning factory. Dallin has stated that Jimmy really did own the building and surrounding land, though most viewers agreed that the $500,000 cash was always the real prize Jimmy expected the winner to choose. In true Mr. Beast fashion, Dallin and Bella used Use their winnings to do some pretty wholesome stuff, including giving insane tips to pizza delivery drivers alongside gifting $5,000 to one of their subscribers. And in a truly kind-hearted move, the couple also adopted a baby girl in July 2023 who looks to be their sweetest prize of all. Congratulations, guys. Beastie Jr. While most wins seen on the Mr. Beast channel are quite a spectacle, our next winner goes to prove that many of those given something by Mr. Beast fly completely under the radar. In celebration of his new restaurant venture, Beast Burgers, in December 2020, Jimmy announced he'd be opening a restaurant that pays you to eat at it. Unsurprisingly, legions of Mr. Beast fans formed a line of over a thousand cars for a chance to win something and maybe meet the man himself. One of those in line was 14-year-old Weeby Smith aka Caleb Smith, an aspiring YouTuber from North Carolina who vlogged his experience. After Caleb pulled up to the drive through window with his family, he was handed a bag of french fries. Oh, and the entire cash register for good measure. The fam also received a fistful of cash, $100 all in, and a cookie, because why not? But there was a problem. The cash register's main drawer was completely locked and the key hadn't come with it, leaving Caleb wondering if there was anything inside. But in a later video uploaded to his channel, Caleb attempted to break into the register, and after figuring out how to open it with a reset button on the back of the machine... One, two, three... Oh, unfortunately, there was no money inside. But considering the $100 he'd already received, Caleb certainly wasn't upset. While most 14-year-old boys armed with $100 would probably spend it on a Roblox skin pack, Caleb was determined to follow in some more beastly footsteps. In true Mr. Beast style, Caleb used the money to tip a hairdresser who'd given him a trim. Since then, Caleb has continued to post content of his charitable ventures, including using his first ever YouTube paycheck to pay for strangers' groceries and giving out gift cards. It goes to show that thanks to Mr. Beast's ethos becoming so popular, maybe kids aspiring to be YouTubers isn't the worst thing in the world after all. Millionaire for a day. Last to leave challenges have become synonymous with Mr. Beast, but our next winner competed in not just one, but two of them to win one of the biggest prizes seen on Jimmy's channel. Mark Pate stumbled onto his chance to win big with Mr. Beast at a time when he was struggling to make ends meet. With barely $5 in his account, as a religious man, Mark turned to prayer in his hour of need and said that God had told him to go onto Mr. Beast's merch website. Confused but willing to give it a try, Mark noticed a link on the site to enter in for a chance to win a million dollars and thought it was worth a shot. And what felt like a one in a million chance, Mark soon found out he'd been selected and was invited to fly out to Mr. Beast's studio in North Carolina the very next day. After competing in the last of four heats in which he was challenged to ride an exercise bike non-stop for the longest time possible, Mark's final test was to be the last to keep his hand on a stack of one million dollars. After a jaw-dropping 36 hours, Mark emerged victorious and became a millionaire. 
But Mark's journey on the Mr. Beast channel wasn't over. The catch with Mark's win, it turns out, was that he had to spend the $1 million in less than 24 hours. Mark, supported by Jimmy, Chandler, and Chris, bought a house, cars, a new wedding ring for his wife, and a whole pile of electronics. Mark's final bill, including gifts to his friends and family and his challenge coach Chandler, came to $583,000, as well as $340,000 set aside to cover his new tax obligations, leaving $77,000 for a rainy day which Jimmy let him keep. Since then, Mark has been seen hanging out with Jimmy and the gang again, as well as posting on his own YouTube channel, Man Too Nice, where he's amassed 100,000 plus subscribers. And like the countless other folks who have received Mr. Beast's astounding prizes, we hope his luck continues. Which Mr. Beast challenge do you think had the best prize? What crazy challenges do you think he'll do in the future? Let me know in the comments, and as always, Thanks for watching.